All right, so I have to be careful walking in this bed here because my peas are starting to come up. So last weekend I did the easy peasy here and there they are. I was getting worried they weren't gonna come up because they didn't come up as fast as the sugar snap did. But there's some there. Also, I noticed while I was um, over here, I wanted to show you the bowl gourd. I had been asking myself and on some videos, I wonder what the female flower looks like because the birdhouse gourd looks like an hourglass. So there's the bowl gourd and it's just round. So that's the female flower. Hopefully that got pollinated. So probably it's a good thing I'm doing all my trimming of this vine now. Um, moving forward, I'll have to do everything from the outside because I don't want to step where a pea is trying to come up and, you know, crush the, the growing tip. So no more walking there. All right, so there are some very mean, mean bumblebees over there that do not want me clipping the cucumber leaves right now. They're sick of me and they want me to move. So cucumber leaves for later. Um, maybe when the sun gets real hot over there, they kind of go away, which sucks for me, but that's fine, whatever. So I think I'm gonna clean out over here. I'm gonna get some beans soaking. And right here where I have all this jewels of Opar um, and other scraggly things, I'm gonna clean that up a little bit and we'll get some beans going. Um, probably some of this watermelon over here too. Oh yeah, all the, all the leaves just died off this watermelon. Like they turned black. Um, I showed in my last protege update, the leaves were turning black, almost like they've been burned. It's like a fire blight or something. And it's, I see it again on the, on the vine there. I don't know what's going on. Um, anyway, so we're just going to clear out space. We're going to clear out space all along that there. And we're going to get some beans going because we're running out of time. Like it's going to be the end of September soon. I feel like September just got here, but it's almost over. So. <laughs> gonna do the burpee tender pod uh, the garden bean uh, tenderette uh, and I'm gonna do some more blue lake bush beans is that it did I put anything in my pocket I've still got no. snow peas to plant so I guess I could start soaking some snow peas all right so I have three more peas pea varieties to get in the ground I've got the snowbird pea I've got the sugar daddy pea and then Oregon sugar pod too So I was listening to a podcast, uh, Dr. Gundry. I don't know if you listen to Dr. Gundry or if you even know who he is. Look him up. Anyway, I was listening to a podcast and they were talking about how basil seeds are even better for you than chia seeds. Uh, was it chia? I think it was chia. They said it was better for you and caused less of an inflammation response from the body and that it doesn't taste like basil when you eat it. Um, I think it is chia because I think they were talking about making a chia pudding with the basil seeds. Anyway, so I'm going to collect seeds here. I got some ants in here with it. Um, I'm going to be collecting my basil seeds and I'm going to see if I like it. So apparently it's a superfood. So there you go. Okay. I did pull most of that watermelon. I just left the main vine uh, that has that uh, watermelon over there. Um, and then there was another vine crawling this way. And I tried to pull it up, but it was rooted in. So what I did is I just cut it and I, it's rooted in here, but the main, main roots are gone. So we'll just see if that lives because it's crawling all the way through and into here. So I'm digging up these bunching onions that are right along the edge because I'm learning not to let the tall stuff grow along the edge. I need it for shorter things. what it looks like real easy to transplant I'm just gonna plant it closer to the uh, tomatoes on that tower so 
So I could separate those two if I wanted to, but I don't want to. Okay, it's looking good. Look, look at all that real estate. All of that growing real estate that wasn't being utilized. So there's still a little bit of Jewels of Opar. Little bits, little bits. You can see my watermelon. Look at there. But yeah, so I'm gonna get this planted up with beans and peas and herbs and whatever else seeds I can find. I, I brought out maybe some lettuces. I brought out the whole case, so we'll see. All right, so I'm gonna oversee the burpee tender pod plot from last week that still doesn't have any sprouts. I'm gonna oversee it with today's sprouts, or today's seeds, so hopefully something will come up. Twenty-two beans, twenty-two. Okay, so it's hot today, I'm telling you. Um, summer came back. I think we're going to hit triple digits, I think, uh, next week sometime. That's um, it's the middle of September. Anyway, next is Blue Lake Bush Beans. I don't know if you can read that. 58 days. So I didn't adjust the camera and you saw none of that, which is probably fine. Take some minutes off this video. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to plant the Oregon Sugar Pod Pea um, around my old trellis here that had the rattlesnake pole beans on it. Okay, next is the uh, tenderette. Okay, so it's another day and it's an extremely hot one. Um, my phone said it's 89, but I think that's lies, that's lies. I'm sweating so hard right now. Um, but we, we got a little bit of cloud, cloud cover for a minute. Um, so I'm gonna continue planting my fall vegetables. Um, not everything is technically a fall crop because there are beans in there. I'm gonna start with the lettuce. I'm gonna rip out the kohlrabi. I'm gonna plant the lettuce and then we'll kind of work our way around and I'll show you the things as I'm planting them. Um, I'm not, I can't be out here all day. It's too, I'm miserable. I didn't get out here till after noon or one o'clock like a ding dong. Um, so we'll get planted what we can and the rest is just gonna have to wait. So for the lettuces, I'm going to use my uh, shrub rake just to scuff up the surface of the soil because the lettuce seeds are really tiny. I'm going to scuff it up. I'm just going to broadcast the seeds and then just kind of press it down with my hand um, to make good contact. I'm not going to try to <laughs> evenly plant the lettuce seeds. I've done that in the past and it's just too hot right now. I don't have time. In this spot here, I'm doing the mescaline mix, uh, sweet salad mix, 30 days. That is a potpourri of seeds. Look at that. All kinds of fun things in there. So, what's in this uh, mescaline sweet salad mix is beet, bull's blood. I think that's was the larger chunky seeds. So, bull's blood, beet, there's spinach, Bloomsdale long standing, uh, lettuce, red salad bowl lettuce, black seeded Simpson, and a mustard called tender green. So it may still be too hot for all those. Read your packet before you plant.
All right, so I've been soaking some snowbird pea. 58 days. So that's what's gonna go over here where I uh, started my Thai soldier long beans. <sighs> I have to go inside because it's too hot now. So the last plant I'm gonna do for today is, um, I believe it's the sugar daddy pea. Um, and I'm just gonna plant it here on the squash towers because the squash and the cucumbers are doing nada, nada right now. I was gonna plant it with the Armenian cucumber, but that has a lot of powdery mildew on it. So I think I'm just gonna take the whole thing out, but I'm gonna do that another day because it's hot. Um, I'm taking a week off work, September 26th, just so you know. Um, and I, I'm not going anywhere. I'm just taking a week of vacation and I'm gonna be out here in this garden all morning, every morning, and then not in the afternoon. It's so hot right now, it's September. This, need, this heat needs to stop. I think we're gonna hit 99 on Thursday. Stupid. This sugar daddy is a 65 day peak. 